Welcome, welcome, welcome to this channel Baruch Haba Bashem Yahuwah. And today we are going to do chapter two of a new in-depth study series called The Tree of Life. And the title is the source and consummation of the trees. Scripture reading is Genesis 2, verse 7 to 9, chapter 3, verse 2 to 7, chapter 4, verse 16 to 22, uh, chapter 6, verse 3, chapter 5, verse 7 to 17. And uh, chapter 11, one, uh, verse 1 to 9, 1 Corinthians 6, verse 17, Matthew 20, uh, 16, verse 22 to 25, Revelation 20, verse 10, chapter 14, of no, uh, verse Revelation 20, verse 10, verse 14 and 15, <clears throat> chapter 21, verse 2, chapter 22, verse 1 and 2. All right, it would be a great help to us to see a brief picture of the tree of life throughout the entire book of scriptures. The scriptures starts with two trees and also ends with the result of the two trees. It starts in the same way that it ends. The three parties in the universe. In the universe there are three parties. The Most High, Shatam and Man. Man is in between the Most High and Shatam. After man was created by the Most High, he was neutral to the Most High and to Shatam. In Genesis, the Most High, our Father, is represented by the Tree of Life. Our Father presented himself to man as the Tree of Life. So, the tree of life is the reality of our Father the Most High. There is another tree. That is the tree of knowledge, of good and evil, representing Shatam, man created by our Father the Most High with a spirit, soul and body, was neutral between these two trees. The three parties in Genesis 2 are our Father the Most High, represented by the Tree of Life, Shatan, the very source of death, represented by the Tree of Knowledge of Good and Evil, a man who was um, created by our Father the Most High in three parts. Genesis 2 verse 7 says that Yahuwah, the Most High, our Father, formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. This verse shows the tripartite when, uh, of man with the body formed of the dust of the ground. The spirit as the breath of life and the soul which was formed when both the spirit and the body came together. The soul is what you could call the bridge or the intercessor between the body and the spirit. Between our Father, the Most High, and Shatan, there was and still is a struggling. The Most High is going to perform and fulfill his purpose and Shatan is doing his best to frustrate the purpose of the Most High. While this play is uh, going on for a far too long time, I can say to you. 
longer than is being pointed out in your history. All the incidents re recorded in the 66 books of the scriptures and apocryphal books came either out of the tree of life through men or out of the tree of knowledge through men. The two minglings before men contacted the tree of life by exercising his spirit, Shatan came in and man was tempted to partake of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The Most High's, our Father's intention was that the tree of life would get into the spirit of man. But before this, the tree of knowledge of good and evil got into the soul of man. Thus there was a mingling of Shatan with man's soul. All the evil things and sinful stories came out of this mingling. Um, of Shatan with man in man's soul. This mingling is the very source of all the evil, sinful things on this earth. Genesis 3 gives a record of this mingling and in Genesis 4 are seen the consequences of this mingling. The result of the mingling of Shatan with man's soul was a city built up with a culture. Cain named the city after his son Enoch. In that culture man became flesh and all mankind was corrupted with evil. Due to the corruption of that sinful culture, um, our father sent the flood to judge the human race. Genesis 7 verse 17 to 24. A further result of this satanic force with man's soulish power is that of Babel. Genesis 11, verse 1 to 9. Babel was the issue of the mingling of Shatan with man's soulish power. The negative stories of Sodom and Egypt and all the sinful events recorded in Genesis and Exodus came out of this mingling of Shatan with man's soul. In the book of scriptures, there is a line of the satanic work and another line of the work related to our Father, the Most High. The enemy of our Father, the Most High, is working all the time by stories come out of the mingling of Shatan with man's soul, the working of Shatan into men, with men and through men, so with men and through men. At the same time, the Most High works. So at the same time, our Father, the Most High, is also doing His work. The Most High's work is to work Himself, is to work Himself into man's spirit. And that's being also done through the Holy Spirit which is also known as the infinite spirit, the truth spirit, or the spirit of all truth. All the holy things and spiritual stories come out of another mingling, the mingling of the Most High with man's spirit. Eventually, in the New Testament, there is this verse, in 1 Corinthians 6, verse 17, which says, He who is joined to uh, the master is one spirit. Since the master himself is the spirit 
who is the spirit that is our father the most high um, the great I am the universal father of this universe and so the everlasting ever living trustworthy righteous eternal creator of this universe second Corinthians 3 verse 17 and has created us with a spirit Romans 8 verse 16 we can be joined to him as one spirit the story of Abel testifies of a man who did not live in the soul but in the spirit and that's why he got slain because his brother was not only a cold-hearted type he also was living from his soul which means he was living an, uh, from his natural humanness and his natural human strength and you can say that uh, Shatan did everything to get Abel out because he knew Abel formed a danger to Shatan because Shatan knew that he was living from the spirit of the Most High and um, not from the soul so he was not easily to be manipulated and Cain was already a, a bit more cold hearted type so easier to be manipulated the colder your heart becomes the easier for the opposite party to manipulate you the accounts of Enosh Enoch Noach Abraham, Yitzhak, Yaakov, and Yusef also testify of people who were not living by the reasoning in their soul, but who were living by the faith in the spirit. The children of Yesharal, the descendants of the patriarchs, wandered away from the Most High's way why because they were more and more going to live in their soulishness and they started to live their life from their solical life their human naturalness their human strength they start to reason things um, they started to think that they could, uh, knew it all better than the most high and so on so the poisoning better set of uh, the workings of Shatan was more and more rooted in their hearts and we see this more and more because um, more and more people you can see that the rootings of Shatan is being outplayed by um, all these people who blindly follow his course and his lies his agendas and so on but since the day the most high delivered them from egypt on the day of the passover they were taught not to live in a worldly or natural way they had to live on the lamb they had to slay the lamb apply the blood of the lamb and eat the meat of the lamb and it's funny because since recent i am if i eat meat it's only lamb or chicken but eat the meat of the lamb is also uh, mentioning and referring to the living word that the lamb made flesh they also learned how to live by eating the unleavened bread after they came out of Egypt they were wandering in the wilderness and were taught to live on the heavenly manna their living was absolutely different from the worldly and natural way to live this means that they learned not to live in themselves 
but to live in the Master, our Father, the Most High. Um, the Lamb of the Passover, the Unleavened Bread, and the Heavenly Manna, on which the children of Yesharal lived, are types of Mashiach. Exactly. Heavenly Manna refers to uh, Yeshua. Unleavened Bread refers to Yeshua. Lamb of the Passover, who was the Lamb that was Yeshua himself. But the truth about Yeshua is also more and more coming out because um, it seems that Yeshua is actually uh, Michael, the chief messenger and orchestrate or orchestrategic. Uh, furthermore, all the offerings related to the tabernacle and all the things included in the tabernacle are types of Mashiach. This provides us with a full picture showing the way to live in the spirit. Showing the way to live in the spirit. So, all these are showing the way to live in the spirit and not to live by ourselves but by and in our Father, the Most High, uh, what many also call as living in and by Yeshua Mashiach. So, Um, the tabernacle so all the offerings related to the tabernacle and all the things included in the tabernacle are types of Mashiach Yeshua this provides us with a full picture showing the way to live in the spirit and not to live by ourselves but by the master the children of Yasharal could not be saved by themselves and they even could not live by themselves. They had to be saved by the blood of the Passover lamb and they had to live by, um, by the lamb. So that is the importance of the feasts. So all these seven feasts we are celebrating are actually feasts that needs to be uh, seen as us uh, standing still by the importance of these feasts and what these feasts are teaching us actually and uh, that we need to remind ourselves constantly actually on daily basis that we have to live from the spirit and not by ourselves which means by our solical life all right in the wilderness they had to live day by day on the heavenly manna Whatever they did and whatever they uh, lived on was a real type of Mashiach. The pillar of fire and the pillar of cloud were types of Mashiach. Because Yeshua was the right hand of the Father. The Father is spirit. So, Yeshua got a tremendous portion of the spirit of Mashiach. No, sorry, I was uh, distracted by something else. Um, Yeshua Mashiach 
got a tremendous portion of the spirit and the faculties and abilities of the spirit known as our father the creator Uh, the rock from which the living water came out to quench their first was also a type of Mashiach. Moses and, in this case, Joshua, the leaders of the children of Yesharal, were types of Mashiach. Exactly. So that is why it is quite weird that everybody is using ya u -sha or better said, YA, and then H-U-S-H-A, because nowhere in the text this name is mentioned. And Joshua, in the Hebrew alphabet, the letters J and O do not exist. So, Joshua is Yahshua. Yahshua. So, the son of Nun was called Shua. This is a revelation I got from the father himself. He said that the name uh, Husha is incorrect and it, needed, it needs to be Shua. And then Moses or Moshe got all of a, a sudden one day he uh, got the message from the spirit of truth known as the Holy Spirit um, to add the Y and the A and the H to it. So, Ya, Shua. And the Father said to me that there is already the proof that it, the, the name of the one that is sitting at his right hand is Ya, Shua and not the other name. Um, but they deliberately uh, created all sorts of forms on that name to confuse us. The leaders of the children of Yeshurun were types of Mashiach, exactly Moses as well as Yahshua, literally in its name, uh, got the spirit of truth laid upon them as well as uh, many other brill uh, ex uh, many other uh, servants and priests and prophets who all worked <clears throat> um, and were all used by the most high our father himself they all got this portion of the spirit of truth or holy spirit laid upon them all these types uh, signify that we should not live according to anything of ourselves. We should not live in accordance to anything that relates to ourself. We have to live by Mashiach. Well, better said, we have to live the life of the Most High Himself. Yeshua Mashiach was living the life and is still living the life of the Most High Himself, which is the everlasting, ever-living, eternal creator of this universe. All the worldly people have been occupied and gained by Shatan. This is still going on. According to the picture in the Old Testament, only a minority, the children of Yisrael, were occupied and gained by the Most High, our Father. They learned to live, to exist, to move, to have their being, not according to the worldliness, but according to the heavenly way. That means that they did not live by themselves, but they lived in accordance with the rules and righteousness of our Father the Most High. Thus we see a picture of two minglings. First, the mingling of Shatan in the soul of man, and second, the mingling of the Most High, our Father, in the spirit of man. 
all events throughout the history of the human race have come out of either one or the other. The Most High's intention is to work himself into us so that he will be everything to us. So it's not that we... Uh, so what is now going on is Messiah worship, which is not in the meaning because in the, the, the first commandment says that we shall not have any others before the face of the Most High. Why is everyone placing Yeshua on the first place and above the Most High? Everyone thinks that we have to live the life of Yeshua Mashiach. No one understands that the life of Yeshua Mashiach is the life of the Most High. Yeshua Mashiach was the one that um, represented this life. Um, but Shatan's intention is to work himself into man to make a counterfeit of the mingling of the Most High with man. So, what we need to do is that we want to live only the life of our Father, the Most High, the Great I Am, the Universal Father of this universe, and thus the everlasting, ever-living, eternal creator of this universe. Shatan does not focus his attention on what we do or on what we try to accomplish. Shatan's intention is only to frustrate us and to confuse us in such a way that we eventually get so myrrh that we um, surrender ourselves to him. That's the whole goal of everything he is doing. From all the distractions, derailments, frustrations, confusion, lies, corruption, is to make us obedient to him and him only. And to lead us away from our Father. Shatan does not focus his attention on what we do or on what we try to accomplish, but his intention is to frustrate us from touching the Most High and from being mingled with the Most High. If he can frustrate this in such a way, he would allow us to do good and religious things and would even utilize the religious things to frustrate us from being mingled with the Most High. You have religion <clears throat> and you also have a true religion. That is something that not many people understand here. But the word religion is, is seen as something negative. This is confirmed by the history of the children of Yisrael. In the early years of their history, they learned how to live not by themselves, but by the Father, our Most High, our everlasting, eternal, heavenly Father, as everything, everything related to them in the Pentateuch or uh, Pentecostal was a type of Mashiach showing that the master became everything to them that they lived not by themselves but by the master yeshua eventually they departed not only from yeshua but from our father himself too and used the things in the pentateuch as rules and regulations 
forming a religion out of the types and shadows of Mashiach. They were deceived by good and religious things, so by good things and by religious things, and captured from uh, the master to something other than himself. This is what we call the so-called Jewish religion. This, this uh, so-called Jewish religion can be seen in the both in both the Old and New Testaments. And uh, what we see in the New Testament is already influenced by the false uh, ones, which means the ones we now see as Khazars and Ashkenaz, who copied the lifestyle of the Yahudim. Better said the Yahudim were so stupid to teach him all the things which he used as a substitute to replace Mashiach. So the Yashualites replaced Mashiach with their own interpretation. Of goodness and uh, they took the things from the heathens and created out of that their way of religion who is the embodiment of the Most High in their experience that is Mashiach Yeshua when the master Yeshua came he was the reality of all the types in the Pentateuch. There are so many items in the Pentateuch, but in the four writings, there is one person who is all-inclusive. He is the Lamb of the Most High, the Unleavened Bread, the Heavenly Manna, the Tabernacle. Um, with all the offerings and um, everything. He is the all-inclusive one. When he presented himself to the Yahudim, the Yashualites, most would not receive him because the Yashualite people were distracted from him by their own created religion and even by the Old Testament, the scribes and Pharisees used the scriptures to argue frequently with Master Yeshua. The Holy Scriptures were given by the Most High, our Father Himself, to bring people to Himself. But even these scriptures were utilized by the Most High's enemy to frustrate people from contacting the Master Himself. So the Yashualites, uh, religionists, searched the scriptures for knowledge, yet they would not come to the Master Yeshua for life. John 5, verse 39 to 14. This meant that they attached themselves to the tree of knowledge, spending much time in searching, studying, and learning the scriptures. And this is going on unto the day of today because many are uh, yelling to one another, we need to study the scriptures and, and, and we need to know it from A to Z and from back to forth and, and, and uh, from forth to back and inside and outside and whatever. And in the meantime, all these people are whom are yelling this, this to one and another, um, and to other believers they are not doing what they need to do and that's living in accordance with Yeshua Mashiach and thus living the life of the Most High they are not asking themselves better said they are not not going into prayer to the Most High and say 
I want to live in accordance with your life. No, they are doing scripture study and doing this and doing that, forming all sorts of groups only to study scripture. And the Most High told me that most of the people <laughs> are still scratching the surface of the scriptures and not the in-depth. There are not many who are able to go so deep in it. Many are still uh, studying the scripture as the Pharisees and Sadducees of old, and they are still existing, did and do. They stay on the surface. They do a lot of reasoning. They have their soul in, intermingled with it. They have no clue that the things they come up with are not from their spirit, but actually directly coming from their soul. And once in a while, uh, there is this Holy Spirit amongst them because there are several peoples who are strongly rooted in the Holy Spirit. And because of that, the Holy Spirit can come into the group. Uh, but most of the times it is not there. So that is a very uh, concerning thing because actually uh, if you fellowship the Holy Spirit should be there always but yeah <clears throat> uh, to be very honest I have my doubts and question marks with many people who call themselves believers that they have really the spirit of truth with them. Even the one who uh, has uh, not done baptization but immersion. Um, I see also doubts uh, there and I have question marks with them too if they are truly having the spirit of truth with them. Yet they would not come to the master Yeshua as the tree of life for life. They attached themselves to something other than the Master himself. The same problem continued in the book of Acts. The assembly began with a group of people receiving Mashiach and taking Mashiach as their life. The assembly was started and formed in this way. However, the book of Acts and the following epistles show us that even in the assembly among the believers, Shatan could utilize so-called um, Christian things to frustrate and distract people. And this is still going on in the assemblies of today. Most people have no clue that they are worshipping Shatan each and every week. They have no clue how infiltrated their assembly is by the roots, the powers, and the principalities of evil and darkness and the rulers of evil and darkness. And so to distract people from the Most High himself and thus from uh, also from Yeshua. The matter of divisions among the master's children was used by the enemy to frustrate their oneness in the father. And uh, through, you know, Yeshua Mashiach. But again, Yeshua Mashiach was actually the representation of our father. And he still is in the spiritual realm. The divisions came out of two categories of things, teaching and gifts. The epistles show us that it was due to the teachings and the gifts that divisions began to exist among the believers. The teachings and the gifts are both good. If they were not good, believers would not accept them. 
Paul points out in 1 Timothy that the different teachings are the seed, the source of the assembly's decline, degradation, and deterioration. Wow, there was a man that saw a lot of things and this man, Paul, is highly misunderstood. In the assembly at Corinth, there were divisions mostly due to the gifts. The teachings and gifts are good, but we have to realize that they both must be for Mashiach, Yeshua, and thus must be for our Father, the Most High. Teachings should not be for teachings, and gifts should not be for gifts. All the teachings and gifts must be for the Father, the Most High, and uh, worked out through Yeshua, Mashiach. So, and thus must be for Mashiach, Yeshua. The teachings and gifts must only be a means or means to convey Mashiach and should not be an end in themselves. And this is going on right now and um, is still happening unto the day of today. And the proper gifts to seduce people from Mashiach. Better said, the opposite party, Shatan and his army of um, confusers, workers of iniquities and workers of creating delusions and illusions, um, they also know how to use these gifts because they have a copied version of these gifts. Finally, at the end of the scriptures in Revelation, the worldly system is portrayed as being married to religion. The worldly civilization is pictured as a husband and religion is likened to a harlot. This is why there are is a picture in the book of Revelation of a woman, a harlot, sitting on a beast. Revelation 17, verse 3. The beast represents the ultimate consummation of all human inventions resulting in institutions, politics, and upon that, Beast is a woman representing religion. The great mysterious Babylon is a mixture of human civilization with religion. If we are not clear about this vision, it will be easy for us to be seduced from the way of life into something other than the master himself. Shatan injected himself into the soul of man and became mingled with man's soul. Out of this mingling come all the sinful, evil stories throughout the history of the human race. We have to realize that to live in our soul and deal with religion is a serious matter. Even religion can be utilized by Shatan. If we have a clear vision from the Master, we will see that today many believers along with uh, their activities, religious movements and believers, uh, their doings, are utilized by the enemy of the Most High, our Father, to frustrate people from the tree of life, which is figured and portrayed as Mashiach, Yeshua, who is again, who is again the living expression and was on earth the embodied expression of our eternal, everlasting, ever-living, 
trustworthy, righteous, eternal creator of this universe. Experiencing Christ or Mashiach as the tree of life in our spirit on the positive side there is another line in the New Testament the line of the mingling of the Most High with the spirit of man we are charged to walk in the spirit to live in the spirit to do things in the spirit and to pray in the spirit yeah but what does walking and praying in the spirit and living in the spirit mean in the spirit is not a mere phrase as many people are using it because many people are yelling this phrase yeah we have to uh, uh, serve the most high in spirit and truth and that's has become a popular phrase among many believers but uh, they don't know what they're speaking of they have no clue what they truly are saying so in the spirit is not a mere phrase when we live in our spirit we will not live by ourselves but by the master our father of this universe when we learn to walk according to our spirit we will not walk according to the worldly system but according to the heavenly way so it means that you distance yourselves more and more from the worldly system and do everything to make sure that you start to live more and more in alignment with the life of the most high himself and his way of living life which is a heavenly way <clears throat> which is a, what is called a holy way of living <clears throat> according to the record of the new testament even the teachings and gifts by themselves are categorized with the tree of knowledge of good and evil with the tree of knowledge are knowledge good evil and death this tree is complicated but with the tree of life there's only one item and nothing else life 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 the tree of life is so simple exactly i always have said when i was a very young child before the age of four years already i said people are making life far too complex than should have to be life can be so simple if we want to uh, truly uh, live uh, the life of our father the most high the great i am the universal father of this universe the everlasting ever living eternal trustworthy creator of this universe if we want to live his life then we can live a very simple life and then we shall see that we uh, are surrounding ourselves with a lot of things that are actually not necessary the scriptures reveal life as the beginning as the process life as the ending and life as everything it is possible that our good doings may not be related to life but fully related and wrapped up with the tree of knowledge of good and evil it's exactly what is also being portrayed in the in-depth study series the spiritual man uh, most people well you can say 99 percent at least of the world population does not know what good works means they think that good works means doing things uh, by your hands they have no clue that most of the times the good works that you think and see as good works are coming from your soul and are solical things only when the father plays things onto your heart to do you are doing things that are of good works 
because he himself has placed it upon your heart to do so. Better said, he placed it in your spirit, not even on your heart, but he placed it on your spirit because the heart is the most defiled organ. The heart is the seat where the soul is. So, if the Father places things into your spirit by his Holy Spirit, if the Holy Spirit of our Father is telling you to go to that person or, you know, to cast out uncleanness in that person, then you're doing good works because the Father himself has laid that into your spirit for that moment to do. <clears throat> You are not deciding it by yourself. You're not doing it on basis of I need to do good works. So the scriptures reveal life as the beginning, life as the process, life as the ending, and life as everything. It is possible that our good doings may not be related to life, but fully related and wrapped up with the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The master is not merely interested in what we are doing, but in whether we are in our soul or in our spirit, but whether we are in our soul or in our spirit. This is why the master, our father, told us empathetically in the four writings many times that we have to deny the soul we have to deny the soul the self this is also being said and taught in the spiritual man in-depth study series which means we have to deny the solid a solical life which means we have to deny our natural human strength and natural humanness. This is because Shatan is mingled with our soul, with our self. Matthew chapter 16, Peter thought that he was saying something good to Yeshua, but Yeshua rebuked him, calling him Shatan. Mashiach, Yeshua, perceived that it was not Peter but Shatan who frustrated him from taking the stake. Immediately after this, the master talked about denying the self and losing the soul life. This is discussed in the verses 24 and 25. This proves that Shatan is one with our soul one with our self. This also is clarifying why we have this urgent need of having uh, to, co you know, to reason everything. This also explains why so many people are wearying their mind out with thousands of questions per day better said almost every moment you need to ask yourself is this all coming from the most high all these questions or are they injected by shatan this also uh, gives the explanation why we do not understand what living by spirit is and what living in spirit is. Um, as long as your soul is not divided from your spirit, and this is a process, this is not done right after you have been immersed. It is a process that is mainly being done by the Holy Spirit, by the discipline or work that the Holy Spirit is doing in your spirit. It divides also with the power of the stake, your uh, spirit from the soul. Why? So that you get um, more clear when something is coming from the spirit 
or when something is coming from the soul. Now we uh, are talking to each other and yelling to one an another that we have to be dis uh, discernful and uh, we need to question everything but we have become in that in an overdrive what do i mean with that first and foremost we do not know what true discernment is we are not knowing that the way we are discerning is not done through our spirit but is done through our soul um, and the soul does not know what real discernment means um, Questioning things, that is, it, of course, a very good thing, but you have questioning things and questioning things. Most things that we question are coming from our soul, are injected by the enemy in our soul to question. Um, the sermon takes place based on our feelings and emotions which is soul life we need to deny that because emotions are also spirits only the experience of the master himself in our spirit will last eternally so only the experience of the master himself in our spirit will last eternally the teachings will not remain, they will pass away. Our primary need is not for more knowledge about the Master. We need, what we need today is to connect the Master and to contact, contact the Master. So what happens now, what has Shatan done? Shatan has forced us to focus ourselves on knowledge we need to have more knowledge about our father if we do not have all the knowledge about our father then we are not able to contact and connect ourselves to our father that is the cleverness he has done <clears throat> and with this <clears throat> he also made it able that we got more and more lost and uh, drifted away from our father and so drifted away from his right hand Yeshua our need today is not for gifts but for the master himself many people are still focused on these gifts that is not in the meaning <laughs> We need to be in contact first with our master, Yeshua, who on his turn is being directed by our father. So eventually what is the biggest step we have to do is being in contact directly with our father. If we do prayers, we do them directly to our father, not through Yeshua Mashiach but directly to our father and uh, this is something Yeshua himself told me he said you can ask things directly to the father you do not need me for that I am more an intercessor uh, for these uh, situations that you need an inter that you truly do need a very powerful intercessor but <clears throat> we have been conditioned if we do prayers we need to do that to first uh, to and through Yeshua Mashiach but he says no do it directly to the Father so uh, we need to see our Father the great I am the universal father of this universe who is 
the everlasting, ever-living, eternal creator of this universe, as our life, as our food, as our drink, as our air. We have to realize that the Master himself in such a full and all-inclusive way, then we will have the proper and living knowledge of the Master. Not, uh, and the Master I refer to is our Father, not from letters, but from life. So you need to ask the Father, teach me how to live your life. And people are saying, yeah, we have to become the word. Well, better said, go on your knees and pray the prayer to the Father in which you are asking him to live the life to, that he lives, to live his life. And not living a life from letters but from life itself which is the life of our eternal creator of this universe if we will experience uh, the master yeshua in such a way and thus our father in such a way we will then have the proper function the proper function and the proper gifts will come out of the inner life what is the inner life our spirit. It is good that we retire from things other than the master himself, which is our father. We must learn to return ourselves to our father through Mashiach Yeshua. With the tree of the knowledge of good and uh, evil, everything is complicated. That is why the Father spoke through Yeshua that his yoke is light. The yoke of Shatan is a yoke of frustration, confusion, striving, battling, making war. Is a yoke that is as a burden. But the yoke of our Father is light. He doesn't frustrate us, he doesn't confuse us, he doesn't do anything. In that matter, what Shatan is doing to us and with us. So good and evil are mixed together and result in death. The one thing we need is to enjoy our Father in our life through Mashiach Yeshua as the tree of life. We have to learn how to enjoy to partake of this living. Living in accordance of the tree of life, which is living the life of our eternal living, everlasting creator of this universe. We have to learn how to contact him, how to realize him, and how to experience him in the spirit. <clears throat> As our life and everything. So, interesting teaching today the ultimate consummation of the trees the ultimate consummation of the trees all the positive things come out of the experience of the tree of life out of the mingling of Mashiach as life with our spirit the assembly the kingdom the new Jerusalem Salem and all the positive spiritual heavenly things come out of the mingling of the Most High with our spirit that is out of the experience of the tree of life because our Father is the tree of life.
the uh, ultimate consummation of the tree of knowledge is the lake of fire revelation 20 verse 10 and chapter uh and verse 14 and 15 i mean and the ultimate consummation of the tree of life is the city of water milk and honey <clears throat> the new Yeru Salem. This, this is uh, Revelation 21, verse 2. This city is characterized by a pure river of water of life with the tree of life in its flow. Revelation 22, verse 1 and 2. All the things of man related to the tree of knowledge, related to Shatan, will go into the lake of fire. And the things of man related to the Most High, who is the tree of life, will go into the city of living water. So what needs our goal and aim to be nowadays? Making sure that we are in alignment with the tree of life, which is our Father, the Most High, the Great I Am the universal father of this universe and so our everlasting ever living eternal trustworthy creator of this universe who is the tree of life that is what we need to aim for on daily basis that stupid job that you have is not something you need to aim for we need to spend our time to read the New Testament once more with this point of view, the point of view in the spirit. Wow, what a marvelous teaching this is. And hallelujah, Father, the great I am, the most high for this tremendous, beautiful words of wisdom. And uh, thank you so much for this teaching. And thank you, brothers and sisters, for watching this video, for listening to it. Uh, let the word sink into your spirit, mind, heart, and soul. If you do not truly get the in-depth in it or understand what is being said here, go to the Father himself and lay your questions on his plate. Do not come to me. Don't drop your conclusions and questions on my plate, but go to the Father. Make yourselves dependent on Him who is the tree of life. He is the only trustworthy source of wisdom and knowledge. Not me, because I am a human and I'm also dealing with all sorts of things All right, thank you so much again for uh, coming to this channel and know that you didn't come without a reason to this channel. The Most High has guided you to this channel because there's a lot of good food to find on this channel for your spirit, especially in the in-depth study series and in the daily word series. Um, and thank you so much for doing a little donation. Know that the kingdom of the tree of life is thriving on giving and if you do a donation you give something of yourselves back to this everlasting living kingdom of the most high and then the most high can tell me how to spend these gifts um, for the kingdom and to the kingdom <clears throat> all right baruch abba b'shem yahuwah and hallelujah, Yahuwah, hallelujah, Yahuwah. See you next time.